Dream roller coaster, right? Yes. Everyone just thought he was garbage, right? And you're like sitting at the base of the roller coaster, waiting to climb up, you know? And then it's like, oh wow, this character's broken, and now nobody cares about him. We all completely forgot about Grom. Oh, show you James made top eight of combo. What is this? <laughs> yep. And he also wins basically every single New Jersey local. He's ranked second in the state behind only Nairo, right? Who right. Does not attend locals too much because. Of course, very busy traveling for events like this every week. Yes, and streaming, and you do yeah. this. Busy guy. Yeah, busy Nairo guy. is like the hardest working dude in this match. Yeah, and actually, James giving him probably the best run for his money he ever has at Gomo. Game five, super close. Yeah. But, of course, Nairo able to clutch it out. All right, so we got, of course, Wrath playing uh, the oh, Joker. Excuse me, up air F smash with Krom. <laughs> <laughs> I really like to see that one. That was super cool. <laughs> Could we get the Smash Police on this one? <laughs> Come we can uh, we can Smash Attacks. Yeah, get the rest of the Phantom Thieves in here to <laughs> clean this mess up. <laughs> Crom, the guy who's gonna Phantom Thief your stock. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, the, the down gun, such yeah. probably yeah. Joker's best move, honestly. You think so? I think it's back air with Arsene. Man. Yeah, back air Arsene is really good. It, it's just one of those tools that's like so unique because it's like, oh, you're juggling me, like psych. You have to like mad respect this, and like yeah. it's such a great reversal tool, almost like. Not as good, but like pretty similar to like quick attack, something that you just have to really respect and disadvantage. The way I see it is like clouds down. Here. Yeah, yeah, very another great move that you just gotta respect. Yeah, just gotta get to the side of it. Now that is now we saw Leo play up against James, and Leo definitely abuse uh, Tetracon. I believe the move is uh, Tetracon. Tetracon. Yeah, tetra okay, okay. Yeah. So that is uh, pretty much when Arson's out, and that is the counter, yep. and it's a uh, it's DLC counter material for sure. Probably the best counter <laughs> in the game. Yes, uh, frame three, and ends very quickly. Oh, James, though, going to sneak right underneath yeah. Wrath. I really like that Wrath is playing Joker, by the way, because this is kind of a crowd favorite character, and he's coming from a background as a Sonic player where, you know, especially being who he is, Wrath, right? Yeah. Like, one of the most defensive Sonics in the business. Yes. I, I, you know, I've seen countless tweets complaining, oh, Wrath is on screen, Mala. But, yeah. hey, man, I thought he was actually really exciting to watch because he had no fear about running the timer. Yeah, I'm exactly. glad to see him playing a more exciting, aggressive character in Joker, trying to win some of that fan base back. Yeah, exactly. Well, there it is, the uh, the arson back air you spoke of. It's melee chic fair. It, it from, is. From above. And, <laughs> and from underneath, it's Lucina's back air. <laughs> Who made that move? Combined into one, we joined forces. <laughs> Whoever made that move, uh, you're a funny guy. You should make a joke. <laughs> All right, but right now, I mean, a very close game here. Um, Joker or Arsene has run out, but there is the Old Faithful. The jab into the back air. Joe James is going to close that right out. That combo has taken more money from New Jersey tournaments than uh, <laughs> pretty much anything else. That's the bread maker. The, 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 the jab back air, that pays rent? Does that does pays, pays all the bills? Yeah, you know what? It's taken more money from Jersey residents than taxes. <laughs> Now we have some pretty high income taxes, or uh, property taxes. The tolls are kind of nuts too, man. Yeah. Oh, dude. Gone from Jersey to New York. Don't even tell me about it, man. You're gonna oh! <laughs> Jesus. Dang. And he's alive. You almost died. <laughs> that that charge, man. You yeah. don't often see people live an uncharged comp for smash, let alone one with that degree. Yeah. For sure. What's the recovery here? Directional air dodge. What an angle. Barely snapping. There's the up out of shield. Does so much damage. Do you see how much meter he lost for getting hit by that? Yeah, so much hits. And yeah. just like that, Arsene's out of here. And that what a great tool to take Arsene away. It, I feel like if you're going to play really well versus Joker, how good are you at not getting hit by Arsene moves? Very beautiful forward tilt by James. And how good are you when Arsene is out to drain the meter when you got the chance? Yeah, not only does it do a lot of damage and multiple hits and all that, but it takes so long for the move to actually complete that, yeah. of course, because the meter depletes over time, it's going to waste it extra hard. And hashtag James is getting a lot of use out of that. Yeah, hashtag optimal, man. Yeah, that was optimal AF. Yes, and that, that that's what I like to see, the, all, all the optimal stuff. And, of course, optimal stuff usually means someone's getting pooped on, so I'm all about it. Man, did you did you see what uh, the combo that James got on uh, Cosmos at Gommel? Oh yeah, dude, it was Cosmos disgusting. Posted it on his own Twitter. That's how you know that guy's a champion, <laughs> dude. Like, get this man in the combo video, dude. <laughs> cool. And we got a bright yellow, I believe, Persona Three <laughs> music, or no, this is Persona Four, right? And three is blue. I uh, I don't know. I definitely know it's not five. <laughs> yeah, right. Five's red. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> but all right, oh, there's on in the background. Let's oh, go. Let's go. And uh. All right, this is Persona 4, okay. Oh, 4? All right, let's go. Thank and you to Locky 2 for letting us know. Nice. Now, starting things off almost with the uh, the Arsene on deck here, getting hit to 70%. That is when it triggers. And um, also, fun fact, it uh, works when it doubles with your teammates. So I, I, don't, I honestly don't know if that's intended, 
But uh, that's pretty good. Imagine Cloud got limited when his teammate got him. <laughs> he would have been banned faster than he could say, ban this character. Yeah, Smash like, four. so fast. All right, so right now, pretty much hit for hit here. But the Arsene is online, but he's about to run out and honestly didn't get too much done with it here. Nah, James just keeping him in disadvantage pretty much the entire time. All right, dash attack to break the zone. Another one of Joker's best moves, and that up tilt, such great platform pressure. Yeah. One of the most true anti airs in this game. It, it pretty much beats out any area, almost pretty much like a sword move there. He's not using his yeah. hurt box to contest it. It's like a pseudo bail up tilt. Not quite as good, but yeah. still very good in its own right. Oh, playing a dangerous game there, reeling <laughs> your tether in with Krom coming down from up B. Yeah, you could just, just get two framed or something of the jazz and not have a good time. I think people in general need to be way braver about edge guarding tethers, especially now that Joker, a likely candidate for near the top of the meta, yes, has one. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, everyone pretty much uh, agrees that that Joker tether is better than the Arsene's recovery, so yeah. it, it is harder to actually edge guard the uh, non Arsene Joker. Depends, though, of course. If you just place right. a long lasting hitbox directly over the edge, yep. very easy to intercept. And yeah, I just feel like people are a little bit too shook about edge guarding it. And just edge guarding in general, I mean, to his credit, Leffen was kind of spot on. A lot of the players with the Smash 4 background played very reserved. They just look for ledge traps and sometimes give up free opportunities off the stage. Yeah, definitely got to have a good mix of both. Like, sometimes if the edge guards aren't hitting, man, it's just like, all right, so that that sucks because he was just about to get ours. And that, that's when it really hits you because it's like, dang, man, I was about to get Arsene, though. And that's like, a heartbreaker, man. It's like dying with limit in Smash 4 with yep, Cloud. Yeah. Exactly. Or even in this game, because Cloud still is in the game, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> oh, yeehaw, coming in. <laughs> Taking his horse to the Old Town Road. <laughs> <laughs> but man, right, this, this is an, oh, dang, so <laughs> much damage. Oh, chunky. And now, are we going to see a lot of upbees from James? I would bet on yes. Oh, trying to get the shield grab there. And right now, honestly, even if James does die from the Arsene, it's like he burned half the meter. Now he's going to stay on the platform. Exactly. Burn out even more meter. To like three, four seconds right there. And yeah, that, that's, that's a tough one to swallow because now you're going to get up to that around 80% and you are just going to lose Arsene. So now we're thinking like, man, how is it? Oh, dang, I guess you're just done. That back air is so brutal, and James very rarely, if ever, dropping that confirm. Oh, yeah. If you are a Krom or a Roy main, you better be like 99% on those confirms because that is, uh, hey, man, it, it pays the bills, man. Like you said, really Jer Jer it'd be hitting Jersey hard. <laughs> James about to open his own financial bureau in the state of New Jersey, man. <laughs> Call it jabs into back air? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to jabbing into back air. How may I help you? Uh, it's not help, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Definitely not helping anybody, other than himself. <laughs> All right. Wrath, though, still fighting from behind, yes, but not the end of the world. He's got Arsene. Oh, and there goes about half of him now. Like a third of him off of one singular up B. That's so scary, because then, then you start feeling like, man, I'm, I, I better be really safe on block, because Krom up B faster than Roy's up B. So it, it's a more viable option out of shield. Then Roy, so, so scary. yeah, it's just and now the Arsene's gone. He's in the same situation, but he's also down an entire stock as well. And you know he's got the rage online too. How is he gonna peel this stock back though? Needs to find his stand right now. And yeah, that one, one move I didn't have not seen Wrath use too much. That I've seen Leo actually abuse a lot. Is that jab? Joker jab coming out of frame four, having very very great range. And another thing too is just I feel like Wrath has not been able to get his footing off stage versus James. Uh, Show James is using really good. The back air is going to close it out as well. And man, what a strong showing from James. Just now up 2-0 versus Wrath. Yeah, of course our first best of five set of the day. He's going to be creeping into that winner's top 64 territory, and both of these players certainly earning their keep within that range. And also, Wrath, as you guys can see, very, very young player as well. So, shout, shout out to all the youngins, man. The future of the Smash community. Looks like we are getting the switch. Wrath going back to his roots. He was a Sonic main for Smash 4. The definitely, um, I don't know if he made anyone before Sonic, but with Sonic, he was able to net a lot of his PGR wins and get himself on the map. Now, maining, uh, now switching to the Sonic here, game number three. We'll see uh, what kind of strategy. Like, like we said, Sonic is a very different character in this game. So uh, Wrath, definitely someone who abused a, a lot of the uh, spin dash shield as any top Sonic should in Smash 4. I definitely want to see how he plays this out. Man, a lot of shield pressure coming in from that spin dash into the homing attack. Taking out pretty much half of James' shield. Very good shield pressure. Oh, these pokes, though, so threatening. I like the switch to Sonic from Wrath. Just fall yeah. back on what you know best. Yeah, it, it's like... The, the edge guards weren't working out with Joker, and that's in that matchup, especially with no Arsene, you gotta hit those back airs off stage. 
Um, but yeah, Wrath definitely staying a little bit more conservative, going for the ledge traps, which isn't that bad as Sonic. Right, yeah. And he still has a kill power, too. He can take some serious risks if he needs to. Pretty reliable recovery, but... I don't know, man. The price you pay for messing up an edge guard against Krom is really bad. Oh, yeah. But just because this character's ledge trapping is so, so strong. I mean, arguably one of the best ledge trappers in the game, which is why some uh, players like Mr. R has opted to go into the Krom. Oh, man. And right now, really great start here from Wrath, but can he seal the stock out? The forward air is going to do tough. it. Yeah, that packs a little bit more punch in this game. Yeah. And, I, I mean, I know it... It, like, people can still fall out of it, but, I mean, for the kill, as long as you can get it. And maybe that's why we saw a slight delay coming out from Wrath after that spin dash. Maybe right. making sure he's fully positioned. Oh, yikes. Still got double jump? Yeah. Yeah, directional air dodge to close on that horizontal distance. Of course, Sonic, great vertical recovery, but he depends solely on his own air, dra air drift after throwing the up out. And that's the interesting thing about directional air dodge, just buffering out of that, like, hit some, because you go into your max airspeed instantly with that directional air dodge. And like you said, I mean, any character with really great vertical re recovery can abuse that. Oh, that was so tragic. Yeah. Homing into what, I have to ask. Yeah. Yeah, now that was unfortunate too. Maybe Wrath wanted to uh, turn to the left so he could snap, but was facing the wrong way, and James is going to take full advantage of that, get that forward tilt. I think he just saw a squirrel off to the lower right of the stage or something. He was like, ooh, eh. I want to go get it. I mean, just smack that real quick. Yeah, right. yeah. sick. <laughs> Super unfortunate, though, for Wrath. That was definitely his character failing him and not much else. Yeah. Wrath still with a great lead here. Um, I definitely, like like we pointed out, I love the switch to Sonic. Um, I, there, This is a rare beat breed now. Not a lot of uh, people play up against Sonic, so this could uh, really be taking James for a ride here. And oh. you know what? Very worth mentioning. I'm surprised I didn't even think of this until now. Wrath hailing from Georgia. Not only does he have one of the other few Sonics left in Sonido in this region, but... He also has two Roys as the top two players in uh, yeah. his region power ranking. Yeah. Hyper Kirby and, and Salt One. Salt One. Oh, I didn't know Salt One played Roy. Okay. Yeah, Roy and Cloud in this game. Okay, yeah, I've, I've seen his Cloud, but never seen his Roy. So, wow, very interesting. Yeah, he said he picked up Roy just to prove to uh, Hyper Kirby that he was easy. <laughs> I, I love that. That's, That's so funny. Uh, yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> Really does, man. Oh, the neutral air landing into forward air. All right, Rap getting a lot of these two pieces off. Spin dash homing attack. And he has just been dominating James in this third match, man. I think, you know, if we see a game five, I wouldn't be too surprised. The switch to Sonic is really paying off. And Rap very familiar with this matchup in a way that I can't imagine James would be. Yeah. Like, even if they don't necessarily play Roy, like, Roy and Krom are just pretty similar. You, you just yeah. kind of have to be like, okay, well, sword property is this, up the out of shield this, like, all right, I'm set. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that really changes is the offstage game, right? Yeah. You might as well just consider yourself dead if you get hit by either of them. Oh, wow, okay, off the top, no. Really great DI coming out from James. Okay, back throw, not going to kill, I don't think. Nope. But really good positioning here. Spring. Oh. Yes, the super armor. Clutching it out, my wife. <laughs> I love that when Chrome players will do the up B right at the edge and then go to the edge. Yes. Afterward, yeah. Keeps oh, the nair. Ooh. Dang, man. When up air is inconsistent, we got other tools. Yes, we do. Wow, that was really smart. <laughs> I've never even seen like the freeze frame animation on a lot on of Sonic Sonic's moves, yeah. but like on Sonic Nair particularly, I'm like, oh dang. Yeah. Freeze frame Nair. This is probably the most Sonic I've seen in one weekend already, and it's just <laughs> two sets. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Hey, I'm not too surprised, though, because even in Smash 4, George's PR had a lot of Sonics, if, if I... Uh, yeah, I mean, it was right? these two, Sonido and, right. and Rath, and then there was also, uh, I want to say, CC was I, the name of it. I heard at one point they had, like, four or five Sonics on their PR. I'm like, dang, you guys are the land of Sonic. Uh, yeah, I, that's probably why I never went to Mumble Cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, no, I'm just kidding, man. I think Sonic... Uh, <laughs> Probably deserved yeah. a lot of the hate he got in Smash 4. Of course, <laughs> Spin Dash and Shield Cancel was really, really polarizing. It was either you can beat it or you can't. As a player, as a character, you know, pretty much defined the entire matchup. In this game, Sonic, like you said, feels like more of a Smash character, a lot more well-rounded. Anything can change. Anything can change. Anything. Even shielding after Sonic Side B, that can change. Yeah. <laughs> Anything can get nerfed. <laughs> and you know what? I'm kind of surprised that they nerfed Sonic after him being not so great in Brawl. And then finally getting his time to shine. It's like, this dude is a video game icon. He is. Are you going to take that all away from him? Yeah. But Wrath showing that this character still has some of the sauce, man. And Sonido did the same thing, taking out Suarez. If two Tri-State Legends fall to Georgia Sonics, man, I yeah. need to have a word with some of my sons. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, what better region to really rep Sonic? I mean, 
definitely probably the most Sonic focused region in Smash 4. So being able to come in in the ultimate and still show what Sonic can do. For me, I, I still would like at least Sonic's moves to work. You know what I mean? Like as much I want as up air to connect just as much. As right. Sonic. And like I said, yes. I don't I don't care if Sonic's good. Just don't bring back shielding after spin deck. Yeah, no, I'm right there with you, man. Yeah. I, have, I have no beef with the character other than that one mechanic. And it's gone. So I, I wouldn't mind if he was still top tier. Just yeah. with a different toolkit. Cause who, like, have you ever heard anyone say Sonic Adventure 2 was a bad game? Like, let's be real. No, no, real I'm rap, so that good. game was so legendary. Cheesy dialogue aside, that was one of the best games <laughs> I ever played. Yeah. But hey, Fun fact, that's what made me find the competitive Smash scene. I'll talk about that more later, but Yo, that's right now, I... these guys are duking it out. Okay, wow, the backer almost closing it out. Uh, James definitely making the adjustments needed, catching that directional air dodge. No blind spot on that move whatsoever. Yeah, and definitely something that, uh, you know, Krom just overall, most people agree that he is Mr. Consistency when it comes down to Roy and Krom. You know, oh, Roy can get those sour hits on the forward tilt in those last stock last hit situation. You're like, ah, if I was Krom, though. Like. Yeah, those slight differences in hitboxes mean the world. Jab and forward tilt, able to creep underneath the edge, whereas Roy can't do that. And I love the... The creativity Roy and Krom players can implement with the uh, B reverse and wave bounce side B and yep. neutral B as yep. well. They can make make up for so much tricky landing. It's very fun to watch. Yep. What was a C bounce in Smash 4? Actually, I believe you can still C bounce. Just a little bit different in this game. Um, but the forward facing, backward moving neutral B right, is right. so good in this game. And I still haven't seen players like James or Mr. R start busting that out. But it's really threatening. Oh, yeah. Being There's able to drift backward with such a threatening hitbox that has that little, uh, little lag. Yes, exactly. But finally, Wrath finding a Gimp. Um, I don't think we've seen James get Gimped once this entire set. Gonna find it in game number four with the spring at that very low risk uh, gimp tool, Gimping tool there. If you do miss, you're going right up to the stage to get your ledge trap. Exactly, Sonic with kind of the perfect storm of moves to uh, Edgeguard Krom, even if James makes it really difficult for him. Oh man, no double jump here. We got the spring, yes we do. Going back, it's landing the safety with the mix up of the directional air dodge as well. Oh, the board smash is all so dangerously close right there. Yeah, and Krom does not have a hitbox on the way up. There's that initial slash, and the entire way up, no hitbox. You, it, it's free reign. You can throw a down smash forward smash. We saw Wrath going for it. Um, mistimed it, but I like that he did go for it. Even forward tilt, great answer for Sonic yeah. for that soaring slash. By the way, I had no idea that what it was called until Aussie put me on yesterday. Oh, real? Yeah. yeah, soaring slash. It's not Aether. Wow. I mean... But it is. Yeah, it, it is, but... But it's not. I, I like the name though. The Fire Emblem characters, they have such cool like names for their moves. Yeah. Oh, oh no, not like no. that. Oh, zero percent. Okay, okay. Raph, okay. hang it on. That directional <laughs> air dodge off stage, definitely a nail biter, but he had his jump and an up be available to him, so he's gonna hang in there. Yeah, some characters they can't even make that bad. So that's why we were worried there, but Sonic with that great vertical recovery we've been talking about, combined with that double jump. Oh the shield pressure though. I love the up air out of shield there from James covering all around him. Quick response, watching that homing attack wind up. Wow. Directional air dodge into the spot dodge as well. What a bait coming out from Wrath. Porter going to set up this pseudo off stage, but doesn't even have to burn the jump, goes right into the up B. And, and how's Wrath going to close out this stock? James has been doing such a good job of getting all this stock mileage. I always see him that sitting at like this 150%. What? Whoa, he fell out of the spin dash, was able to tech it immediately. Oh, ah! oh, he wanted it all right there, but James instead going to pay the iron price, loses yes. a stock, and we could still see a game five. Raph down, but not out by any means right now. You know, James did lose that stock, but I fully respect it. You, you, he had the confidence, and you, you always got to have that confidence. Once you start losing confidence, that's when your offense is going to start getting teared apart, and you need the offense to start closing out these stocks. But, like you said, he's going to pay the price. Can Raph clutch it out? Oh, never Dang. mind! Ouch. James uh. just swinging for the fences right there, and Raph had his shield up too. Maybe he tried to parry. Or yeah. Probably just wanted to get out of there and do something. Even if he jumped out of shield, though, Krom's forward smash gets so high up just due to the way that he swings his sword, especially compared to Roy. And that was tipper range, too. If that were Roy, he would have gone nowhere. Nowhere. That right, would have been... Uh,